<laughs> like trombone slides flying. Sometimes we've seen it, yeah, and parts breaking even before a concert. That happens quite often as well. Hi everyone, I'm Daniel Yao. I'm a Singaporean wind band conductor and clarinetist. And today I'll be reacting to some clips and videos of conductors and clarinetists. So let's go. Whitward will be performing his version of Solitude in E minor. Yeah, E minor, all right, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I must say, thanks to Spongebob, a lot of people know the clarinet now. Yeah, before, most people only know the saxophones. Yeah, thanks to Squidward, a lot of people, like when I take grabs, the drivers are like, Oh, uh, it's from Spongebob, the clarinet. Yeah, so, yeah, thanks to Spongebob, actually, the exposure of clarinets now is much better, yeah. I think Squidward's playing is actually quite good because I'm pretty sure they got a professional clarinetist to record that. This happens all the time. Even after playing the clarinet for so many years. Give it up, Miss Lang. And crying is part and parcel of the whole music learning journey. A lot of my friends, even during conservatory times, also cry in their studios. It's something you just have to go through. You, sometimes you're just so frustrated, spending so many hours practicing and still not being able to get whatever you're trying to play. So with regards to my students crying, right? It depends on what students they are. If they are the ones who don't practice, I'll just tell them, go out, wash your face and come back. Or if it's on the opposite, where the student really practices so hard, then we usually have a chat within the section as well, just to understand and analyse the issues that the particular player is facing. And we all have to experience that. Sometimes as instructors, we don't see this as well. And if you do face it, then you have to deal with it. And you cannot just let it go, because that's the worst an educator can do. Well, if you ask a violinist to play a clarinet, yeah, I think it will be very difficult. Firstly, they were not instructed what to do, and they're just given a clarinet to play. Every instrument is hard to start. Yeah, that's for sure. And to play well is a never-ending journey. So, to start the clarinet, compared to saxophone, right, I would say it's a little bit harder why Brett wasn't able to produce a sound because firstly, he didn't have the correct mouth formation or what we call embouchure. Yeah, so he didn't have his upper teeth on the top of the mouthpiece to have a good support. And yeah, immediately when you see his double lip, he didn't know what to do with his mouth and he just squeezed and expected a sound to come out. And yes, there was a sound which was a squeak, but that's not a ideal sound that we want. Classic. <laughs> as humorous as this Mr. Bean clip is, as a conductor, I think it would be a dream to have such musicians in front of me, where they react completely to every gesture you do. Yeah, so as a conductor, or as an audience, sometimes you see, oh, what, what's the conductor doing? I feel sometimes it's an over-glamorous job. Yeah, like everybody feels, oh, the conductor, when he waves his hand, there's a lot of sound. But a lot of the conductors just look really good for the cameras, but actually they're not doing much for the musicians. And that's quite a waste. For me as a conductor, I'm a very functional conductor. So even if you watch videos of me conducting, I don't do much besides showing cues and giving space to the musicians to express themselves. And in this clip with uh, Mr. Bean, every gesture he does, he gets a sound and a reaction. And of course, it's a satire of what conductors do with the Mr. Bean clip. But in actual fact, the conductor's job is just to aid the musicians and not for their own glorification. Yeah. Ha <laughs> ha. 
With regards to the accuracy, it's not just from the perspective of a conductor. From the musicians, they also demand such accuracy. But in the whiplash clip, the conductor might be a bit too demanding. Yeah. Because the musician is trying his best to meet his demands. And he barely gave him three seconds to play. And then in the end, threw a symbol at him. Yeah, I think that's quite ridiculous. <laughs> with regards to what happens in the school bands, yeah, with the younger players, if sometimes if they could even sound like that, we would be glad. But of course, we wouldn't expect them to play like this. It is a reality with the schools with a lower budgeting. Yeah, and it's quite a shame because as hard as the students would try their best, there's only so much they can progress without getting more knowledge given to them. What you see them trying to suck a skittle from a trumpet, that's going to be impossible. You can ask a professional player and it, that will never happen. Yeah, but like trombone slides flying, sometimes we've seen it, yeah, and parts breaking even before a concert, that happens quite often as well. Yeah, but to see a skittle being sucked through a trumpet, never gonna happen. Unless you put a vacuum cleaner on the other end. <laughs> it was fun for me to watch all the videos today and just to react to some of the conducting and clarinet playing. You have to learn music and then you have a perception of it yourself. That would be the best. For us musicians at least, from musicians to you, yeah, learn an instrument and then you can see how they are being portrayed and whether they are real or not. <laughs>